Hey guys, welcome back to another reading. I need to find a way that I'm gonna, where I'm gonna put this at. Well, welcome back to another reading, you know, <laughs> reading these spirits and reading these energies and reading this negative zone, negative. You know? Because if everybody thought of positive, we wouldn't have a reason to get our mind together and our mind clear. You know what I'm saying? There's always somebody ready to come and mess up your day. Somebody always ready to send you some type of energy. Some people will see you fully happy and be upset. Why? Why? Like, if you are not happy and I am happy, what is your problem with me? You throwing, you throwing me some negative, the zone the negative, and you know damn well I don't deserve the zone the negative. Just because you are upset. And you know you're scared to go talk to the person that you truly have issues with, which happens to be your mother, your daddy, or it got to be a childhood, some type of trauma. But no, you don't want to go fight the big bad wolf. You want to come and fight the little cat on the side. That is just too busy minding their own business. You want to just come and be upset at the cat. Why? Because you, you thought the cat was pussy. Okay, but you forgot that the cat got nine lives. You see what I'm saying? Don't bother people that that ain't got time to be bothered. Cause you fucking up, you messing up your own, your own, you messing up your own spirits. Okay, you are making your your spiritual guides, your ancestors, your angels do extra work to come and protect you from the shit that you do to other people when they could be too busy focusing on making you move forward and making you prosper, but they're too busy saving your life because you're too busy trying to kill somebody else. Does that make sense? I think it does. I don't know why I just said that, but <laughs> when you watch your reading, the message in the reading is supposed to come to you naturally. Do not force the message onto your spirit. And if the shoe don't, I was about to say fit. If the shoe don't fit, don't force it. Move on to the next. All right. I like me a little sage. You know, like sage is good. Sage is really good. I really used to really sage like a lot, like heavy saging in my house. And then things was going good. Things was really going all right. And then I stopped saging my house. I gained weight. I started believing in the things that I never really believed in. It was a lot of, you know, it didn't go down that bad because I already know who I am. So once it starts fucking up, I might let it drag a little bit, but I'm not going to sit in there forever. So, yeah, saging is good. Sage your house within your spirit. Speak to your sage as the smoke comes out. You know what I'm saying? Because whatever you believe in, whatever you are believing in, is speaking to you and you're believing them thoughts. So why don't you believe in the in the words that are coming out of your mouth? You know what I'm saying? Try it. Let me see. Somebody's going through a rainstorm right now. I just said that I have to find ways. To not spill anything on the floor. I feel like somebody go. Anyway, somebody is going down the wrong path. Somebody's going through a rainstorm right now. What type of rainstorm is it? You are up all night. There is something that you need to check on, but you don't want to check on it. You're too busy brushing it underneath the bed, stuffing it in your closet. You don't want to speak about it. You just want to forget about it. Some things work like that when you just want to say, you, I'm moving on. I don't want to think about it anymore. I don't want to debate. I don't want to stress myself. But there are some things that you need to check on it in order to heal yourself. There are some things that you need to fix. That you need to revisit in order to completely move forward.
okay I see some human trafficking some opportunists opportunists around you some liars there's a Gemini in here big blessings okay behind any struggle whatever the struggle is no matter how heavy you think the struggle is Okay, there is no such thing as a small struggle. It's just that my struggle is different from your struggle. You see? You see what I'm saying? But behind every struggle, and the bigger the struggle is, the heavier the struggle is, the bigger the blessing. The bigger the blessing. So, whatever you're going through right now, there's a big blessing behind it. Confirmation. Okay, you were surrounded by immature people. The truth is finally coming out. Somebody keep keep up. There's somebody in your life that do a lot of this. But never follows up with action. Never. There's somebody that run their mouth like they 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 on some boss things, but they're not bossed up. They're not. He's I feel like somebody snitched. Somebody is finally snitching, or you some you are finally seeing the whole mirror of what's going on. You are finally seeing the reflection of what is going on, and you are slowly growing up. Okay, and realizing that he ain't deserve none of the blessings you were already giving him. He ain't deserve any of the good doors and the good feelings and the good emotions. Sometimes what you give to people, it's not even like like a physical thing. The the most thing, the most powerful thing that you do for people are the things from within. People think that oh, I bought you a car. I bought you a house. I bought you a Louis, a Louis bag. I bought you a, a Birkin bag. I bought you some, some Jordans. If you buy me all of that, but you're not making me feel safe. You're not making me feel protected. You're not making me feel like... You're not making me feel it. Right? It's not really going nowhere. It's really... You... you it's... That's not that's not a, a, a real transaction. The best thing that you do to people are, are how you make them feel. Because when you give people a feeling, they could go far with that feeling. They could do abundant things with the way you make them feel. Right? So, that's what you were doing to, 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 to this person. Whomever is running through your mind or whoever came and shook up your word for a little bit. You did a lot for this person. A lot. And it might not have been as physical, but it was it was energetically energetically speaking. I hope I'm you know. Cause I, I get sometimes when I tap into this type of things, I get to tumble on my words a little bit. But you gonna get the message when you watch a reading. A message comes to you naturally. You don't force the message to come within your spirit. Your spirit, if you need to, if something is important that you need to have it and have that type of understanding to move on to the next. Huh, believe me, you your spirit gonna catch it, and you gonna you gonna catch it by fire by force. You must catch it, <laughs> and you gonna catch it. Okay, all this blessing and this healing that's coming through your way, you're going to catch it. You're going to catch it. Cash it. <laughs> you probably got a check coming, okay? All this, all the things that he done unto you is backfiring now. And people have the best way of masking who they are. Okay? People have the best way to overdraw on top of them. And hide the true self. So sometimes when something happens to, like when somebody throw you something, like a tornado, and you live through it, like you stood in a tornado and it left you broken and shattered, and you pick up the pieces, you're trying to put it together, and the person who threw you your tornado is gonna drive past you, is gonna walk past you, looking at you, put your shit back together, and you gonna look at that person like, how is this person even able to? 
Like, why is this person still doing what he's doing? And you start testing God. You start, like, you know, mis like being, being, being upset. Okay? Sometimes you might even pause your healing. You don't want to heal no more. You go back into your bad habits. And you think that God is not working the things that he's, he, God is not doing what he's doing. That's what you can't, you can't go with what you see. And this is why sometimes some things slow up in our lives. Because we want to believe what we see and not believe in the things that we already know. That person is coming back driving by looking at you for a reason. Because if that person was done with you, he wouldn't have no, he or she wouldn't have no reason why he's even driving by your house. Or driving by your way to even see what you got going on. You may never even see that person. So if it happens that you happen to see this person or this person wanted to be seen, there's a reason why. That person is not done with you. God is doing things behind the behind doors that that person doesn't even want you to know about. Sometimes the hurt is not physical. The hurt is mental. The hurt is spiritual. The hurt is nightmares. You can't sleep. How would you know somebody is did one month they couldn't close their eyes? You can't see that unless they tell you. Things we expect like gigantic things like I want to see you outside, rain pouring down on you, you lost your house, you lost your car. That is the minimum of things. That is the minimum of things. You want to you wanna, you wanna know what real torture is? You being in a big house. But you can't sleep in that house. You can't find peace to close your eyes and sleep in that house. Now that's torture. You aren't able to eat because you can't swallow the food that's coming down on your throat because of the mental abuse that you have going on. The mental pictures that keep playing as you're trying to eat. That's torture. That's God working. Homeless, that's the littlest thing. You lost your car, that's... Materialist things, you could always get that. Somebody could always, oh, here's my car, you could use it while you while you get on your feet. Here's my here's my house. Use my living room as you're getting back on your foot on your feet. Oh, you gonna have a job in one month. Somebody but peace, emotional, emotional peace, mental peace is not that easy to find. So just sit down and let some things marinate. Why do you have the blue the blue torch? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bobby, why did you do this? Hold it down, man. Thank you. So don't worry about it. Don't worry, it gets hard. It gets hard. It gets hard. Once you, once you get that type of understanding, you will no longer have, have a reason to go and seek revenge yourself. Because whatever revenge you're going to want to go seek is going to be too little for what God got in store. You understand what I'm saying? It's going to be too little. Too little. You got to remain poised. You got to remain peaceful. You got to remain elegant. You got to remain within your feminine energy and understand that things are going to work out the way they have to. There is no reason for me to come and, and switch up my game to bring you any type of bad energy. You know when you throw out bad energy or you want bad energy to somebody else, that is who, that is who you are invoking first before like sharing it with anybody else. So why would I do that? Why would I waste my energy doing that? When God got the power to use anything and anybody onto you, I'm not going to do God's work because I am not God. Thank you. Check, please. You see? You see what I'm saying? You're too busy leveling up. I see a big level levitation in your life. I see checks. I see finan over financial stability. Like, it's, it's, it's sure past that situation right now okay i see a lot of traveling in your in your on your path on your way okay this person is gonna want to come and confess something with you because let me tell you something every predator that sits and do harm onto others when it 
catches up to them. When it's their turn to eat their shit up, they're going to know exactly where it came from. They're going to know exactly where it came from. And they're going to want to come and talk about it. Because that might give them some type of inner peace, mental peace. Do not allow them back in your space. Do not, because what I tell you earlier, I said, there are some things that you give to others that are more, that carry more weight than just materialistic things. Than just a car, a home, food, and stuff like that. When you allow somebody into your space and you are that gifted to give somebody else peace internally, and that person turns around and throws some garbage your way, they're going to have certain things. Because if it was just cars, I would give you, you probably going to have an accident and lose that car. If it was a house, I'd give you, probably fuck around and, and, and lose your house. The bank going to come and collect it. But guess what? Somebody else would give you that house. Somebody else will give you. There, there are cars flying all over the place, but what there's not, what is not flying, just laying around on the road, is mental peace. It's peace. So I give you peace, and you want to come and give me garbage, and you think you will sleep well at night. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. You see what I'm saying? So don't go out and seek revenge. You give him a most powerful tool, and if you grab that powerful tool back, don't die. Nothing else to say. Because this person abused their power. Whatever little power they had, they abused it. They abused it. They abused it. This is a new, a new story for you. A new land for you. Embody it. Take it. Use it. Okay, don't be afraid to use your power. Don't, don't be afraid to ha have it. Take on your power. Don't, don't be afraid to flaunt your power because if it's your power, you are in command of that power. There's certain things that people can't take away from you. They can take away the house. They can take away the car. They can take away the loan. They can take away whatever. But what you're not going to take away is my power and the command that I have over that power. <laughs> Hallelujah. When he do it, they're going to watch you succeed. He, she, it is going to sit around and keep spinning the block and see you eat. It is what it is. Don't blame me. Blame God. When you, you not your fight is not with me. Your fight is not with me. His fight was not with you. Her fight was not with you. Stop playing around. Okay. Alright, I hope I shared some light in your dark today in my reading. So, make sure you come back into my next reading. Bye.